give girls space and time. Girls become attracted to you in your absence when they're thinking about you. Allow her imagination to do your heavy lifting for you. She can't do that if you're always up her ass. And Coach Corey Wayne has a really good story. And this is, I learned this from him where he like went over to this girl's house. He knocks on the door and the, the girl's mom's there. And she says, you know, like Sally's not here. And he seemed disappointed. And, you know, the mom being smarter and more experienced than he is actually says, hey, you know, this is not a bad thing. Give her a little bit of space and let her think about you. That way she can start to like you. Because I guess she noticed that this guy, him, was just coming around too much. Give her some space. Let her start thinking about you. And again, that is a key component is most guys, our default is, by the way we're, we're wired, is to take action. So we haven't heard from a girl we haven't seen her. We haven't talked to her. We ha she hasn't texted us. Our default is to take action and reach out to her or call her or go over. But then we're in her face. When actually girls do better, when you give them space, it's kind of like we talk about like we gave less of. The less you do, generally, the better your game will be. Do less, just a fraction less than you're used to doing. And you'll actually see improved results. But you got to give girls space and time. Girls become attracted to you in your absence when they're thinking about you. They're thinking about. And like Bunny says, they will run complete fantasy scenarios that are not based on anything that's likely to happen. But it makes them feel good. And they're thinking about you. And when they're thinking about you, they become more attracted to you. So when you are in in their presence give them something to think about later that's future projection and it gives them something to think about and it allows them to become attracted to you over time but it's you you basically use their imagination to do your heavy lifting for you use their imagination to allow them to become more attracted to you and basically the guys that are all up their ass that their best friend and always on the phone with them and always texting all day and sending them bullshit. Those are the guys she's not fucking. She's fucking the guys, like she says, he never texts. He never reaches out to me. But I fuck him on the weekends or I fuck him on the um, weeknights, you know, but he never reaches out to me. I always have to reach out to him. It's little things like this that are tells that this guy's playing it right. Less is more when it comes to game and attraction. She wants to be chasing you, not the other way around. So give girls space and time. And I mean, just pull it back like 20% of what you normally do. And I think you'll see absolutely markedly improved results. If you pull back even like 20 or 30%, um, it doesn't mean like cut off all communication and disappear. Um, but just pull back. Text a little bit less, call her a little bit less, see her just a little bit less, and her attraction will come up and they'll start chasing you more readily. Allow her imagination to do your heavy lifting for you. And she can't do that if you're always up her ass and she always knows where you're at. She always knows what you're doing. It's one of the downsides. It's kind of one of the downsides of like being in a relationship. They know where you're at all the time and it takes away some of that excitement that when she didn't know where you were. But let's see if we got anything. I can't scroll this morning. Well, that answer is that. Um, hang on one second. I think that's it for today. Okay. If you like it, like it, share it, subscribe. And, um, and if you would like to invest in yourself, your game, your sex life, you can go to myplayboysbunny.gumroad.com or fortworthplayboy.gumroad.com and invest in, a, in, in your education and moving girls from complete stranger to naked and in your bed consistently and reliably. It can be done. Again, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you guys being here. And I hope you guys have a great day.
Tuesday. Have a good one.